Hello, I'm Dr. Herman. Welcome back for another great informative video in this video series about your chronic inflammatory painful condition. And what I want to talk to you about right now is, a, a, this will only be a couple of minutes this video, and we're going to talk about a topic uh, about uh, these immune system uh, imbalances that occur in the body. And there's one called a TH1, also known as a T helper 1, a T helper 2, and a T helper 17 uh, type of imbalanced immune system. In this picture, maybe it dulled me down a little bit in this uh, video, so it's not your TV, it's not your computer, it's going to have a white background here. So just disregard that and listen into this and watch this picture here. Then we have an immune imbalance, we can get an autoimmune disease. And this can stress the nerves, the thyroid, the stomach, the brain, the bones, the joints, anything. So when we get, what this shows here in the middle here is an antigen. And when an antigen gets in the system, an antigen, which I talked about in the initial introduction video on this website, when you have this antigen, whether it's pesticide sprayed on your coffee or on your food that you're eating, or maybe it's a food that your body's sensitive to, or maybe it's a hormone imbalance, or maybe it's a sugar imbalance, or maybe it's a, uh, uh, an anemia problem, or maybe it's from, um, from a bad tooth in your mouth. That can be. So these different stressors in the body, a parasite, a bacteria, a yeast, a fungus, excuse me, add some more on that you may be familiar with. When these stressors get in the body, you have what's called an antigen presenting cell that calls out to your T helper. Your T helper cell is like your 911 operator uh, when you pick up and call 911, somebody broke in my house, there's an invader in the house, okay? So when you call the T helper, the T helper then calls out or your 911 operator of your immune system calls on your B cells of your immune system. So it calls the police. And the police come in and they find out that you're your stressor, your invader, is not just one person with a gun, it's actually a person who's got a nuclear device. Okay, let's use that story. So the police say, we can't handle this. This is too much for us. So they call back to the T helper 911 operator and say, hey, this job is too big for us. We'll stand here, we'll be good for the neighborhood, but you know what? We need something else to help us. So this 911 operator calls the T cells and the natural killer cells of your immune system. It calls out the Army and the Navy and the Marines to come in and try to, and the SWAT team perhaps, to come in and try to remove this person with this nuclear device that broke into your house. Okay? So now we can have more of an expression on one side of the system or on the other side. So we're going to call this T helper as a T helper 1 expression or a T helper 2 expression. Now, either your immune system is imbalanced as a T helper 1 or a T helper 2. In any case, and I talked about back here about what's called the TH17, also known as a TH17, T helper 17. There is a chemical or a pro-inflammatory substance that your body makes when it's fighting the war inside. And it's going to, and this one of these specific components of the white blood cell system that fights disease for us, this one chemical is called IL-6. IL-6. When the T helper is producing so much information and producing these chemicals in the process to tell the B cells and the T cells and so on, it produces these different chemicals, these substances that cause inflammation of your tissues. And one of them called IL-6 actually jumps off and goes in this direction. And over here, there's something else called T helper 17. The immunologist I've studied under, Dr. Aristo Vajdani, he told us that in every blood lab that he studied in people over the past decade, they all have had a T helper 17 expression in their bloodstream. What does that mean to us? Well, you got to figure out what these antigens are, what the stressors are that are making your immune system become so unbalanced and so inflamed. And instead of putting out the fire, it's just adding more fuel to the fire. Does that make sense to you? Let me show you a couple of different, uh, different things that you may be familiar with that may cause either a TH1, TH2, or TH17 expression in your immune system. Green tea can do it. Coffee can do it. The other side, is echinacea, pomegranate juice. So maybe you go and you go to the store and you buy the antioxidant juice, pomegranate with, uh, with acai berry or acai berry, however that's pronounced. Do you know what? They're both on the opposite ends of the spectrum. So here you are with this immune system imbalance 
and you're taking something like pomegranate that's weighing it down and you're taking a acai berry that's trying to bring it back and you're weighing it down. And then you get a cold and you take something like echinacea because you're a drug, you know, your uh, nutrition center, your vitamin shop, that person said, well, take this instead of your cold remedy. So you take something that actually weighs you down more and makes your immune system more imbalanced and more inflamed. So there's more to it than just green tea or coffee, more to it than just echinacea or pomegranate. We've got to understand, and I just want to make this really simple to understand with this picture, that you either have a Th1, Th2, or Th17 expression, and we need to be able to figure that out because we need to know how to get your immune system back in order so that there's a normal balance to the system and it's not attacking your own tissues because your immune system can attack your nerves, it can attack your brain, it can attack your stomach, it can attack your heart, it can attack your blood vessels, your thyroid, your liver, wherever it wants to attack, it's gonna do that. And we need to figure out what the antigen is or the antigens are so we can remove those from your environment and get your body to calm down to make you feel better without the use of drugs, okay? Thank you for watching this video. I have a lot more to share with you. As a matter of fact, if you wanna see a longer description of this on YouTube, if you go on YouTube, and I'll put credits of this up at the end of this video, if you go on YouTube and put in the search area, type in these words, write this down, get a pen and paper, pause this if you need to, write this down. Autoimmune, one word, autoimmune, space, disease, then a dash mark, ask Dr. Herman. Autoimmune space disease, dash or hyphen, ask Dr. Herman. And there's a video I put up about autoimmune disease, drawing out this whole picture, this whole discussion. It's about 22 minute long uh, video. I get really in detail about that. And uh, I'm sure it'll shed some light on what's going on with your body. Thank you very much for watching this video. And I look forward to sharing more videos with you and helping you get well. Thank you.